It was a city that made cruising cool. And tonight, Modesto finally considering doing away with its ban on cruising once and for all. The city council meeting getting underway just minutes ago. CBS 13 Shante Passmore explains while the city may be softening its stance on cruising, it's also cracking down on sideshows. There's not only a major push against repealing cruising bans, but against attitudes towards what is now considered nostalgic for car lovers. Their biggest supporter, Modesto Police. But sideshow performers shouldn't expect the same treatment. It inspired the cult classic American Graffiti and generations to come. For years, cruising in Modesto turned into the place to be. But violence plagued the weekend scene. So in 1990, the city enacted a ban. In recent years, officers hardly enforced it. But after the department met with car clubs over the last few years, their stance softened. What changed? The people involved in the cruising uh, culture are older now, uh, more mature. It, it almost, uh, the nostalgia, and it's almost like a, a dying uh, pastime. A pastime now used to spend quality time with family. Successful cruising nights with hardly any incidents also paved the way as more cities also repealed their bans. Not long ago, low riders from around California descended onto the Capitol Mall to celebrate the shift in attitudes. Just don't expect to pass on vehicle codes, yet there's distinction between nostalgic and nuisance. But as the police are expected to propose stiffer punishments for sideshows. It's getting ridiculous now. People getting killed, just innocent people. A $3,500 fine for drivers and passengers, $3,000 for promoters, and $2,500 for spectators. That's true. You cannot show off if you don't have an audience. Investigations reveal most sideshows are promoted from out-of-towners, moving from city to city after getting the attention of police. Sideshow activity and cruising are, are, are two different activities. As for the cruising ban, a city spokesperson wouldn't tell me whether it'll get the green light tonight from the city council. However, car enthusiasts have already invited us for the removal of an anti-cruising sign that's downtown for Saturday.